You may hear about this brand new WIT tool in Afpaint Designer version 2.5. This tool allows us to control the thickness of the line by setting several key points to that line when we can adjust the thickness within one line without separating it. Actually, it's not a brand new feature. This is something that exists for a while now, but it was through a stroke panel. So let me just draw some sample line here. I'm using pencil tool. A sample line like that. And in the past, you simply had to stroke to control the line features, right? Now we can make this line thicker. And that's a equal thickness across the whole line. And if you want to make it thicker in one point, you had to pressure. You click the pressure and then you adjust the pressure by adding those key points. And take a look. We can modify the thickness of the line by simulating the pressure from the pen. So even though I draw it with my mouse, I got the simulated pressure on it. That's exactly what this new tool will do for you. So stroke with tool, it's here on the left. The W is the shortcut from the keyboard and take a look. Now I can apply additional points. And I want you to pay attention to this pressure tab. All of those points I just apply, they are added to the pressure profile of this line. So there's exactly the same thing as we did before with the pressure. Now we can do it directly on the line. So it's way easier to predict and control. All right, let's use the pen tool. The pen tool will create exactly same line as pencil tool. So there's not a huge difference. Let's close the shape. All right. I'm going to reset the pressure. So if you want to go back to the standard one, click reset under pressure here. All right. And again, now let's start with the flat pressure like that. And I'm adding those points myself using this extra tool. So this time we got a greater control because we added directly on kind of the shape. So we can easily analyze the shape and we can know exactly where you want the line to be narrow or, or thick, bold. All right. So this tool makes this process way faster and easier. But still, end result is this pressure graph applied to this line in this case surrounding the shape all right what if there's a brush on it yeah that's a good question so let's reset the pressure and try to put some kind of brush on it all right we got a brush apply keep in mind the brushes in affinity designer they call them vector brushes but they are simply raster images stretch on the vector path so if i modify the vector path the brush is still here adjusting to that new path, but it's not a vector brush. If you zoom in really close, you may notice that this brush is made of pixels. All right, so that's a little disclaimer. Okay, so we got brush apply. Can we still use this width tool with the brush on? Take a look. Seems like it's worked out here with a little glitch over here. How about other way around? What's happening here? As you can see, it will be not very usable for us. The brush is kind of freaking out. And it was the same before with the pressure. So you may use that to extend, but don't expect a result you will have with a proper vector brush. So that's another problem. We got raster brushes stretch on the vector path, not vector brushes. But for the regular li line, it's uh, really handy. And keep in mind, you can apply stroke around shapes. And this tool will work as well. Take a look. This is a regular shape. And I'm simply applying width of the line to that shape for a new interesting look all right you can of course modify the color of the stroke using the color wheel all right so that's how you can do it 
keep in mind if you want to get rid of this pressure point on your line you can simply double tap on the point and it will disappear so that's also easy process i hope this short tutorial showing a new tool was helpful and if you cannot see the tool or you would like to have two columns for tools like me keep in mind you can always customize your tool panel head to view customize tools and then you can move them around you can drag and drop tools and you can even decide how many columns do you need i'm on a laptop with the smaller screen so with one column i cannot see all of my tools if you got similar problem i recommend you to use two columns close it and you are good to go thank you for today see you in the next tutorial